Yes, big dogs. Welcome back to the YouTube. So, leg day is upon us. I'm going to take you through a session at S20 today. The music is loud, so hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we're just going to get after it. Get a big session in, take you along for the ride. So, we have got first two exercises are coughs, because my coughs are shit, so I might have said that before, but they are. So, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get stuck into coughs. Two exercises, a standing and a seated. I've been using a new app uh, called RP Strength. It's a hypertrophy app, which is like, um, it's a progressive training, training block over like four weeks. So you, you progress intensity and volume over four weeks and then deload. So we are now in week two. Um, so I've got two sets of standing cars, two sets of seated cars. Um, and they're both like my own rep match sets. So I'll take my first set, take the weight, and then the second set, I'll do the same way and match the reps. If I need to rest pause to match the reps, I will do. Lovely job. Calf's done till day after tomorrow. Every other day, calves. Keep smashing them, they will grow. If not, I'm just going to fill them full of fucking synthol. <laughs> <laughs> So on to adductors now, uh, get these out of the way, because um, when I get to the end of the session, I'm taxed. One of the keys to having big legs, train your adductors. That thickness on the inner, inner part of the leg and in the rear shot can really, really improve the density of the shot. So make sure that you don't skip calves like I did in my early days and adductors. So second, second part of the session, adductors, I take a few sets of warming into this just to get my hips nice and loose. And you want to spend time in the end range. So don't be keeping your, your, your range of movement short with this. You want to get as wide as you can when you're weak. So in the end range here, when, you, when your legs are wide, that's where you're weakest. So don't be worried about loading three plates on a gym pin and keeping your movement like that. You want to get nice and wide and spend time in where, you, where you're nice and weak. Get stronger in that, your adductors will grow. Programs, it's only programming one set of that in, um, but I was up in weight by six kilo and three reps, so 23 reps there, uh, stopped at two reps in reserve. People might think training at two reps in reserve, you're not training to failure, but that's two reps to total mechanical failure. Um, so you've got to judge it on your rep speed and how fast the, the reps are moving. Now, I would have got another two reps there, but they would have been very slow. Um, and that would have been failure. I, I was very, very close to failure there. Um, and that's, that's literally, blo it's blown my hamstrings up, that 23 rep set. So, and I, I've, I've, I've fed back into the app. I'll probably be able to add another set in there. But I've got two more weeks worth of, of escalations in this program so there'll probably be another set going in next week and the week after so now we move on to seated leg curl two sets leg press two sets 
hack squat, one set, leg extension, two sets, split squat, one set, glute arm hyper, one set. So, plenty of work left to do. Very nice, very nice, set one done, 15, up, up again there, up in weight and, and up in reps by like three, four reps. So, into workout, staple for me uh, through off season and in prep, um, performance while I'm training. So in here we have got 75 grams of Train by JP Sustain, which is a tri-carb blend. Um, which has got added hydration electrolytes in there. Uh, it's also got an MPS Max, which is an EAA formula. Highest dosed patented ingredients in there. I've got 25 grams in there. On top of that, I've got two grams of pink salt for hydration, muscular contractions, replacing lost sweat. Um, so don't skip on your intra if you're looking to maximize your performance and your recovery. Oh. 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 Yeah. Woo! Got right, another Mayo rep match there. So you'll notice I did 15 reps on my first set. Very, very close to failure. Second set, I failed it at 12. Well, within a very close proximity of failure. Rested for 10 seconds, which is the Mayo rest pause, and then finished the reps to match my, pre my first set. So that's the Mayo rep match set. So this is a, uh, a new leg press to the one what I've been running recently. I've been running a hip press, so we're now onto like a pivot leg press. So what I've got pre-populated into my, um, my log book to, to run today, I'm going to have to just take a little bit of a view on it and just sort of reset some numbers. Um, so, yeah, we'll just get after this one. And it's uh, Mayo rep match, 20 reps. So two sets of 20, which is going to fucking light the, the quads up here. So what you might notice during this session, compared to what you've seen me do in the past, is the loads that I'm using are a lot less. The reason being, since starting this new program, I've reset all my lifts, and I'm aiming to get full range of motion. That is my full range of motion, uh, and, and really sort of tax the muscle in the full, fully lengthened and shortened range. So. I've had 500 kilo plus on this before, for reps. I'll probably be working at maybe 60% of that, but the reps will look completely different. I'm aiming to standardize my form, which is a, a word that's thrown around a lot, but I'm aiming for every rep to be exactly the same. Um, and I've been doing this now for three or four weeks. My joints feel better. The, the muscles are getting absolutely smashed and I feel good I feel fresh my central nervous system is not as uh, not as smashed and it's the most consistent productive run of training that I've had for uh, for a long time so long may it continue <laughs> so what I'm doing here I've just recorded that last working uh, that last warm-up set just to make sure that foot positioning depth control 
is all on point. So I can replicate that from my working set. I'm happy with that. Um, and I'm just trying to now figure out <laughs> what load to use. Because I only need three reps there. And although the weight is not a problem, I'm aiming for like 15 plus, really. And uh, to get that control for five second eccentric on each rep with a, with a micro pause in the hole, 15 reps is going to, be a, going to be a long set. It's going to be at least a minute and a half set being under constant tension. It's going to burn like a bitch. So I may run that load and just take it there and see, see where we go from there. Disgusting. <laughs> See, two R and R is still fucking very, very hard. So I probably had two more like grinder reps there. But as you can see, that's not that's not easy. That's a fucking hard set. Full range of movement, controlled execution, accurate, no joint pain, quads are blown, move on. Two more there. <laughs> Probably. How are you great? Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm just coming all the time. <laughs> just going to run through a little bit of a tip here for how to set up your split squat, which I really don't want to do split squats right end of the session. I've only just put these back in, so this is the first time running them again. And my quads are fried, my legs are fried. And I've got to do 150 kilo split squats, which is body weight. But anyway, how to set up a split squat. Arse on the bench, feet out in front straight. You'll plant your foot, and that is your positioning of how you set up your split squat. So that is the distance from your, your working leg to the bench. Based on whether you want a quad focused, or a glute focused, the more upright your torso is, will be more quad focused. The more forward focused your torso is, if you're closing the gap between your quad and your torso, is more glute focused. Yeah? And that's it. Let's fucking get into it. Stayed up then. <laughs> like Gandalf. I don't know how many reps I did. About 12, I think. Aims to get that up to 20 plus. Let's see what they see what they measure. I've never done this post workout. So look at the weak one, because this is the one what should be about two inch down. Yeah, 32. Yes, big dog, so that is leg day done. Just had a little measure up for the clickbait, just under 35 on pumped. So I did measure him in the morning, the 33 uh, without a pump. So an inch and a half of pump, uh, which is down to train by J pumpage, an engineered muscle uh, turbocharged, uh, no plug there, uh, but yeah. If you notice that, we're a very, very good leg session. Um, you'll notice that it's a little bit different to how I've trained in the past. So focusing on intent, accuracy, full range of movement, execution. I've stripped the load back. You'll notice that with me, all my training, the intensity remains. So I'll always train hard, maximum intensity, 
but just focusing on making sure that every set is accurate, the intent is on the working muscle, and the result, a fucking very, very good session. I can run that up now. No joint pain, maximum stress and stimulus on the, on the muscle. And yeah, I was, I was pleased with that session, so thank you for watching. If you want to see anything else, give me a shout. Hopefully, pick some good tips up there. Please like, share, subscribe. Try and get 200 likes on this. Let me know what else you want to see. And there'll be some more YouTubes coming soon. Peace.